This morning we are going to talk about the Hanukkah event at the JCC Boulder. So if you know me, I am new to Colorado, relatively really new. So I don't really know the Jewish community is here. I don't know the who is who. So yesterday was the first actual Jewish event that I attended. And there were major differences between how it would fly down in New York and how it was here. But that's beyond the point. The only thing I really want to point out though, is that there was one politician and I don't remember his name again. I'm not from here, so I don't know the details. But he was invited and he gave a speech. And the speech kind of went like this. His speech was really emphasizing how Russia is oppressing Ukraine. And I'm standing at a Hanukkah event and I wonder why this is the biggest topic. Then he, uh, somewhere along the lines, he did mention, you know, how hate speech has been growing all over the United States. Hate speech meaning a generalized universal concept, which is again great, but you are at a Jewish event and Jews are being attacked day after day. Antisemitism is skyrocketing all over the United States. And not once this politician mentioned the level of antisemitism or how the Jewish community is probably affected by this rising hate speech. And yet all the rabbis or all the Jewish leaders here, and this guy actually is Jewish as far as I figured out, yet did not mention antisemitism. That is a core issue. That is the biggest problem that the Jewish community is facing when it comes to the fight against antisemitism. I understand that the Jewish community has always been there for other minority groups and has, hence this universalism is always something very close to the heart of the Jewish communities because you do the mitzvah and, and so on. That's very good. On the other hand, can you imagine, I don't know, a black community event and they are just talking about how universally racism is bad? No, they are focusing on their issues and they would definitely have mentioned how many black people are being attacked or not. When it comes to the Jewish communities, you cannot always just look out for other people and not look out for yourself because that's exactly what led us to this current situation and the level of anti-Semitism. So again, I'm like a naive person attending this event right now because I don't know this market. In New York, after seven years, obviously I knew the who is who and how to play the games, quote unquote. So I even asked someone behind me, is this politician a Republican or a Democrat? And this is a subjective in brackets opinion. So the answer was that he is a Democrat. Again, still in brackets and a personal opinion that did not really surprise me, brackets closed. But anti-Semitism is not a partisan issue. And again, I'm not really sure why you need to politicize a Hanukkah event by saying how Russia is oppressing, oppressing Ukraine. Because again, that's a very American point of view. I'm not saying that I'm disagreeing with that statement or anything. On the other hand, there are nuances. And how do you know that there was not a Russian Jew in that crowd who actually maybe feels absolutely differently? So why to politicize Hanukkah events is beyond me. So yeah, this round is like a little early again for me, but... I'm like not really following what everybody's really goal is here. Like even a Hanukkah event is politicized for other groups, but we cannot say that the anti-Semitism is actually at a very dangerous high level. So I don't know, is there a cognitive dissonance there or am I the one only feeling that?